Slovenia's Tromostovia, or Triple Bridge here in Ljubljana, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a triumph of mathematical design, which is handy, because talking of maths, here's a quiz question. 21 boys and 21 girls enter an international contest, and believe me, you're gonna need a pen and paper for this one. Each contestant solves, at most, six problems. For every girl and every boy, there's at least one problem that they solve together. So prove that there's a problem that is solved by at least three girls and at least three boys. I did tell you you'd need a pen and paper for this one. While we're waiting for a solution to emerge, and you can look it up online, let's hear from the president of the International Mathematical Olympiad, or IMO, Professor Gregor Dolinar, because it was the IMO that set that question as part of their annual contest for high school students. The IMO's vision is, quote, to bring together young people from all over the world to enjoy the challenges of mathematics in a spirit of friendly competition. So where, how and why did Professor Dolinar himself first fall in love with the subject? My mother was a teacher of mathematics, so mathematics was in my family from uh, the beginning. But uh, when, when I was deciding what to study, uh, I didn't exactly know whether I should study mathematics or economy. But then uh, I really like uh, tough challenges. Uh, and then mathematics is definitely a tougher challenge. It's certainly that. As people will know from the question I posed at the beginning of this video. But actually, in the era we're currently in, this very digital, very technological era, has maths ever been so important? I think it's becoming more and more important. Uh, like uh, nowadays, uh, maybe somebody, somebody will think artificial intelligence will solve all our problems. But I think you still need very smart people who would be smarter than artificial intelligence. People with vision. Companies with vision uh, recognize this importance uh, of mathematics and these bright uh, young people who are good in, in mathematics. Uh, and that reflects also in uh, companies which are willing to support International Mathematical Olympiad. Let's talk about the IMO then, the Olympiad. Um, what is its core goal? Because it seems that answering the questions that are set is not the sole purpose of the Olympiad. In, in, a, in a way, it's popularization of mathematics. You, you must understand that uh, being at the IMO means that the, uh, you are at the top of the pyramid, of the huge pyramid. And these competitions are huge motivations for many students to work hard in mathematics, to climb to the top, but not everybody can climb there. But still, many people work hard and then uh, fall in love with mathematics. And I've noticed that across the last five years, I think at least, and bear in mind that a hundred countries are represented, all the main continents, but across the last five years, China has come first each year. What is it about what they're teaching or how they celebrate maths that puts them in first place? Definitely, I would say uh, smartness is quite equally distributing around the world. So sure. uh, uh, China is a huge country, but, uh, this is definitely a necessary condition, but it's not a sufficient condition. For example, some other large countries are not proportionally as uh, good as China. So you really need also a good system of finding these talents and educating them. Right. So China is a very good example. And for example, South Korea as well, which is not as populated, populated yeah. country, but still they have a huge, very good system of finding talents and educate them. So it's sort of culturally supported. And also it's, uh, you know, uh, talent is not definitely not enough in mathematics. It's a, a lot of very hard work. And uh, it's also the social environment which must motivate these young uh, students, young kids to work hard uh, and that this is appreciated. And in some social environments, this is more appreciated than in the others. How do, you, how do you go about trying to foster that? I mean, as, as the Olympiad itself, is that just through making the event itself as enjoyable as possible and spreading the word? 
Actually, this is one thing. We, we uh, aim to make this event even more attractive. Uh, this year in United Kingdom, we will have uh, very good topics with interesting speakers, Phil's medalists and so on. But uh, our aim is to do more even also between IMOs. Uh, we are thinking about organizing some regional camps uh, for training the trainers. Uh, we would like to do more about attracting girls mm. to, to the International Mathematical Olympiad. So uh, we have quite a lot of uh, plans uh, how to work hard. One of the things I also noticed, and this might be an entire coincidence, but there are six questions set, as I understand it, each Olympiad. Each question is worth seven marks. That makes a total of 42, which is the maximum. Now, anyone who's ever read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy will know that 42 is the answer to the question of life, the universe, and everything. So is that just a happy coincidence, or is that about the beauty of numbers again? <laughs> you can interpret it uh, uh, both ways, but definitely every mathematician knows uh, about 42 is this magical word. Everybody likes uh, Douglas Adams. It's some kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, Things mathematicians like this. It's, it's a mathematical yeah. joke by having it, it definitely, up to 42. Definitely, you, uh, you can say that. <laughs> now, you referred to um, the upcoming Olympiad, uh, which is going to be in, in my country, as it happens, the United Kingdom in Bath. Um, what is it about the Olympiad that you, not dread, but that sort of responsibility that you have that you are most anxious about? And what is it that gives you the most joy at these gatherings? Uh, if you're very bright, uh, if you like mathematics, uh, it can be quite hard in your local environment. Uh, some uh, your, of your uh, colleagues uh, may look you in a different way, mm. even uh, uh, like you're some too special. But here they find uh, uh, colleagues which are uh, equal-minded, uh, very bright, and you see how they are shining. Uh, so really enjoying. enthusiasm. Yeah, enthusiasm, share the enthusiasm, share the uh, uh, experiences, and this is a really wonderful thing to see. Mathematics is a uh, basic knowledge, and uh, everybody can uh, try to do mathematics also in the less developed countries. You don't need a laboratory, you don't need uh, expensive equipment to start doing some kind of research. So everybody can find uh, themselves and challenge their intellectual capabilities in uh, math. And uh, this is some kind of a way to find really uh, great talents. This mathematical competition is something uh, I think uh, in the future it will be supported by many. So the key attribute is curiosity. Definitely. Curiosity and uh, uh, you want to um, solve really hard challenges. Brilliant. Professor Dolala, thank you very much. Uh, and for those of you who were stumped by the question I posed earlier on, uh, don't worry, you know what they say, there are three types of mathematicians, those who can count and those who can't. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs>